Hey VC, Gary's Vinyl Den here. Sorry for the shaking, but I'm holding it here in my hand. Um, I've got uh, some new additions to my music room that I wanted to uh, show you. And I also wanted to demonstrate uh, the Record Doctor 5, which uh, right now is on sale at Audio Advisor for $199. Uh, it's a vacuum system, which that's I paid uh, 250 I got it $50 off. It's regular 300 It's fully manual, and I want to show you how I actually do it. So if you have any thoughts about getting one, it, it does an excellent job. But uh, I just want to show you some of my new equipment um, that I have. Um, here I bought a rack rider. It's, uh, it protects from any kind of power surge. And it also filters the electric, so you don't get any impurity sound coming through, hums or anything, and it really helped. I had a little bit of a hum coming through because of my subwoofer, and it, it cleared it right up. And I also bought a new CD player. It's an older Denon, and um, it really sounds good. I think it's from uh, 87 or 88, I believe. But uh, it's just a single, uh, it's a single disc, <clears throat> but it uh, sounds real good. And um, dogs always want to get in the way. And I also picked up this Pioneer um, single cassette deck. It's a CT F500. I believe it was one of their lower end models. The uh, reason I got this one, it wasn't real expensive, and the guy um, put all new belts and refurbished it, and it's in excellent condition, and it sounds really good. Um, it's a simple machine. It doesn't have a lot of gadgets on it, but uh, that's fine. It, it works good. And uh, also, I got... Let me take you over here. I also picked up these new... Try to get this in the thing. These are uh, right here. They're the uh, Polk um, RTI A7s. And uh, I replaced the uh, Fives RTI. Well, actually, it's an older model, so it's the Series 1, which was actually RTI 8. But it only had the two, uh, two mid range. Um, so there's one there, and that's what I got for the front. And I took the ones that were in the front here let me come over here and I put them in the back right there and uh, let me see I think that's all I've gotten new and then so now I got everything some um, Polk uh, these are Polk um, they're the uh, mid mid channel um, but uh, now I want to demonstrate the uh, Record Doctor 5 here. Let me uh, pause and uh, set this Okay, here, here is the uh, machine. It's got a felt pad right here, and that's what this, the uh, vacuum cleaner sucks the dirt out of. And it comes with this little tool here, and in one end it's got a stiff brush, and that's to clean the felt because it will uh, build up with dirt, and you can take that brush and clean it off, and then on the other side is the actual brush you can use to do the uh, cleaning the record. But I don't use this. I've always used this here, which is just a painting pad you can get in Walmart or Lowe's or Home Depot or, you know, you've seen them all. Everybody's seen these pads. But uh, that's what I use because I think it does a great job. And uh, I spray this on there. I mean, this is one-fourth alcohol, three-fourths um, distilled water, uh, three or four drops of dish detergent soap, and I use a dishwasher um, uh, additive. A couple drops is all you really need. I know some people use the photo stuff, but uh, that's what I use. It seems to do a good job. Now what I want to do, I've got one here I picked up at the Goodwill that's really dirty, so. I would try to show you, but you probably wouldn't be able to pick it up anyway. But you put the record on here, and what I do is I give it a good soaking. 
take my pad and I go around once just to wet the pad up good. And then I start cleaning. Usually I go twice around, that's all you usually need, unless it's really dirty. I picked up some uh, pretty good bit from the Goodwill day before yesterday and some of them actually had mold on them. And it was weird because the outside box didn't have any mold, but the uh, inside was bad. I had to clean all that up, but anyway. If you do that, you flip it over. This is all manual, nothing gets, except that. That sucks off the water. I usually go two times around on this. And usually, while that's running on that side, I start spraying this side. I'm hoping you guys can hear me. And then I do the same thing on this side. What you have is a beautiful clean record now the reason I went through all this like I said in the beginning it's uh, it's on sale at audioadvisor.com and uh, for $1.99 you can't beat it um, it's regular $2.99 and uh, if anybody was contemplating or maybe thinking about getting one um, I, I was amazed at how the, the difference was in the way I was cleaning them and the way this cleans it. First of all, the speed of this is way quicker than anything I was doing before, which, you know, I don't feel like, you know, standing up here cleaning a bunch of records at once. But uh, what I do is I clean it right before I play it. That's how I do it. But just wanted to show that, like I said, in case you want to uh, get one. But uh, I've got some other videos I want to do. I got some recent finds. So uh, just wanted to uh, show you guys that.